Hello everybody, my name is Paul from Cryonetic. In today's tutorial, we'll be covering PBR texture creation using Awesome Bump. Now, Awesome Bump is a fairly new program I just discovered recently. It is freely available, still in the test phases, so there are a couple of bugs. One of the bugs is mainly that I have not found it working properly on anything less than two gigabytes of video RAM. It does work on a one gigabyte uh, card, but then you're pretty much limited in your texture resolution as I could not find anything uh, with load higher than 1024. So, uh, well, let's just test it out. So what we're going to do is we're going to use that same brick texture that we had in the previous tutorial. And we're just going to drag it in. And now you'll notice that it still retains the, all the other details from the previous um, model setup. So in order to change that, there it is by your diffuse base map to others. You click enable preview and at the bottom here, convert normal height map. It will change all the maps here for you. And it does take quite some time to do. There we go. The one thing that I find a little bit strange is that when it does do this, it does tend to change your diffuse again. So just drag your diffuse in again and then everything should be fine. Let's just double check everything here. And then we can just disable this preview. And there we are. A couple of changes you just want to do is because you want to remove shading that is one of the important parts of your pbr um, creation process a couple of sliders here you can play with but all in all i'm not going to change much as i just want to show you how quickly you can get something in from this program so let's see specular that's a bit insane for a specular map i believe the roughness as well so i'm just going to change that down remember the roughness is like uh, the whites would highlight like shininess um, so just going to change that a little bit specular i'm not i'm just going to disable specular processing there at the bottom and keep it like that because I don't like that setup. So, and then you just have to save out your textures. So, I'm going to just call this one um, awesome bump PBR. Open it, and it will have a naming convention. Uh, the S is obviously for specular. If you click on your Okay, if you click on your diffuse, that's the same, the D, normal map, and then lastly the roughness map. So the same four maps that we basically created in GIMP in the previous tutorial. So I'm just going to... I'm just going to import them directly. Okay, it does take quite a while. All right, I'm just going to create a new material. I'll call this awesome mat. Okay. Awesome. Okay, it doesn't can't contain the space. Forgot about that. Just open it and then I'm just going to select all of these again. Connect them all up. The normal map uh, will tend to be a little bit better um, just because of the, the setup being uh, different from the 
GIMP normal map plugin. And I'm just going to do one minus again. Connect you in there. And just make them look nice. There we go. Click apply. And then Okay, well, let's actually just duplicate this one. And delete that block over there. And then I'm just going to apply the awesome material to that one. Okay, I'm just going to click build, get the lighting right. So, all right, that's done. And let's just click play. Right, you'll notice slight differences just in the color variation, but the normal map is a little bit different. It doesn't have the the roughness that the other normal map had, uh, but it is fairly decent. A uh, little bit more tweaking you can do an awesome bump, but for the amount of time that you save in creating the texture, I would say that, that this program is pretty amazing. And the only other program that I've used that comes um, close to this um, is unfortunately not free and that's called bitman 2 material that is a little bit more uh, thorough program but um, as as i said it's not free so if you want to create some some textures and you just want to create something very quickly awesome bump is a very easy way to do that and i highly recommend it if you guys like what you saw, please subscribe to my channel, leave a like, leave a comment, and I will see all of you in the next video. Thank you all very much for watching. Okay, bye-bye.